This would support your suspicion that a shadow organization is committed to inciting revolution by enabling acts of terror. Around July 2014, a black woman was awarded $23.6 billion. Billion dollars. Billion dollars. That has everything to do with everything that's going on to date. How does your facial recognition software work? A Florida jury has awarded a smoker's widow with one of the largest verdicts ever against a tobacco company. And a court agreed, granting her $23 billion in her lawsuit against R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company. For those who's not up to speed. First, I, I heard millions. I didn't know it was B with a B, billions. And I still can't believe it. Okay, look at what one million. Now look at what one billion look like. Now imagine $23 billion. Got to let that breathe for a second because a lot of people don't respect that victory. Like a lot of people, you hear it, but it... R.J. Reynolds vows to appeal. R.J. Reynolds vows to appeal. I don't want people to get the uh, misconception that everything that happens is a hoax. <laughs> I don't want people to think that, you know, um, there's no tragedies going on, like stuff in Palestine, stuff in uh, Africa, and stuff in uh, in the states here in America. Like there's no tragedies in Mexico, and I don't want you to, I don't want to, I don't want you to be desensitized by the foolishness that's going on uh, due to a corporate agenda. Yes, the Oregon shooting, the Oregon supposed mass shooting, is a hoax. It is simply because it's tied to the 23 billion appeal that. R.J. Reynolds is having right now. So, when you get um, the ref, the first red flag was the first accused shooter was a young man by the name of Toby Reynolds. That was your first red flag. It shot through social media <clears throat> when you uh, and they had a link to a video of him uh, doing a vlog about women or something like that. But during his vlog, he's you know smoking cigarettes and stuff like that. And now. You know, obviously they turn uh, within uh, within a day or so, or a few hours. You know, a few hours after that was blasted out, that Toby Reynolds was a shooter. They uh, they retracted that and posted a uh, another young man by the name of Chris. Now, <clears throat> what's going on is um you know uh, there's these biometric attacks. There's a rhythm to the attacks, the algorithms of what's being done. Uh, the recent attacks are more geared to attacking the lawyer that won the $23 billion for Ms. Cynthia Robinson. Now, the lawyer that won the $23 billion, his name is Christopher Chestnut, along with uh, Mr. Willie Gary and, and, the, and their crew. Right now, the main focus is uh, destroying the image and the reputation of uh, Mr. Chestnut. Mr. Chestnut is actually the prime target uh, uh, at this point because the last the last um, major tragedies events was geared to destroying uh, his planting the seeds of, of of biometrically tying his image to destruction and, and, and uh, whereas the prior events were more focused on damaging the image of of uh, Miss Robinson um, her husband her son um, and Another family that Mr. Chestnut is also, was also uh, defending, which is the Pharrells, the, the mother and the son. And <clears throat> both of his cases, um, they're simultaneously being uh, ripped into with these corporate attacks. The Oregon shooting is simply the white version of Charleston. And first they start with 13 dead, then they went to 10, then they went to nine. If, um, if you know anything about the numbers game that's played when you have uh, a certain group involved, they play a number, it's, a, no, it's always a numbers game. Uh, so things are codified, color-coded, um, you know, in, in the algorithms of, of, of these, of these uh, the main marks or the main victims, their names are always tied within whatever event is going on. So again, um, after 
they pulled Toby Reynolds from being the main shooter. They retracted that. They brought up another guy uh, by the name of Chris, who so happened to look like Chris Chestnut, Mr. Ch who so happened to look like the lawyer. Now, from there, that's when another, that's, you would consider that another red flag, you know, because biometrically, when, once you see they have the same name and they got the same look, and then if you know anything, if you go back and we look back at uh, the Vester Flanagan, uh, so happened that whole, <laughs> that mess and that, that, uh, that, that hoax, you know, where they biometrically blamed another man um, for that tragedy and he had to go on social media to claim his innocence. And, uh, but, you know, uh, other news, uh, news people went with that story anyway and posted his image anyway. So now with this event, pretty much the same thing is happening. And um, right before this event, uh, they had the other biometric attack. Uh, they used uh, James Blake, the tennis player, where he was accused of being a criminal because he looked like somebody that didn't commit a crime and he was arrested by somebody that looked like him. So biometrically, they was just joking around with you. They just playing games at this point, just to tease you and, and taunt you into the toys that they do have. Um, now, let's just to gear towards this Oregon thing and, and, and how they kind of compressed the entire summer madness into one event that they was gonna, this was gonna be like, oh, Look how we summed it up. This is how, you know, they went from black to white to black to black to black to white, you know. So they went, they, uh, you know, they, you go from the breaking news of this tragedy and, you know, and the victims, right? Then they break to this hurricane uh, and how North Carolina is in a state of emergency, which is another flag. And this hurricane, uh, how they how they uh, tie this hurricane to Hurricane Sandy, and then they pull in the Sandy Hook event, and then they bring in this, um, the Newtown families, right? So all of these have to these have to be flags <laughs> when you have an event like this, because you're bringing in you're you're validating one lie with another lie and another lie, you know. So um, the UCC. You know, uh, the college. This is a, this is a, this is a, a college student. This is not a this is not five year old children. These are college students. These are these are adults. So, and you're in a town that is a uh, open carry town. You're in a, a concealed carry town. You're in a, a in a gun town. You're in a gun state. So, now, immediately, you know, of course, they said, uh, you know, that. that they went up to the president and everybody, you know, they automatically it's a gun. They, they said it's a gun issue in America. That was immediately. That was immediately. Then um, they they reflected back to Cleveland, which would be if you know Cleveland, you're going to say Cleveland Browns. You know, the little brown baby was was uh, so happened to be uh, uh, shot and killed. Unfo you know, uh, this is that that's an unfortunate tragedy. But purposely, they pulled that tragedy into play while talking about this shooting right here because it's Cleveland and Cleveland would be Browns. And if you're going to stay with the uh, if you're going to know the key, all of the events, every time there's an event, all of these key names and words and numbers keep coming back into play. Um, now, as they flash from that baby, then they they pull back to this Oregon supposed shooter, uh, Chris, who wrote a note, a hate filled note. You know about how he hate life and hate this and you know how he's isolated all you know the regular rant on paper that they so happen to always find uh he's killed or dies at the scene or dies a, the usual shit you know um the pictures that they uh post of the shooting the pictures that they post of the students exiting is with their arms in the sky you know which is ties you back to what mike brown right um then they show uh, they show images of uh, the students being searched. Now you're in a a gun state. You're in a gun state where people these are college students. Everybody has a goddamn camera. Everybody has cameras, and maybe one out of ten people would have uh, would be carrying a pistol. So you got to think about it like this. Um, nobody had footage of this shooting. Uh, nobody heard the shooting. 
nobody actually uh, seen any blood. Again, everything is hearsay again. Everything is hearsay. The news told you what happened. Uh, supposed victims told you what happened. The shooter is military. The man who got shot and supposed the supposed her hero is military. Now, this whole Jade Helm thing uh, that they said, oh, it was going to go from June to September. Um, that Jade Helm thing, esoterically, come to find out, the Jade Helm events was tied to Mr. Chestnut. Jade is an esoteric metaphor for Chestnut. Moon is also an esoteric metaphor for Chestnut. Um, so in turn, you get the dark side of the moon. Um, and we can get into that. Uh, then you get this whole Jade Helm with you're staring all of, uh, all of these events. Now, Helm is to stare. So you're staring all of these tragedies and, and events back to Mr. Chestnut. Now, um, man, it's a propaganda war. They, you know, CNN and all the mainstream media, they're, they're pretty open at this point at saying it's a propaganda war where, um, uh, it's about getting into the minds of the public to get everybody to agree that guns need to be confiscated, um, that World War Three is necessary, that we need um, the Amero, that uh, that um, 23 billion should be retracted from Miss Cynthia Robinson and um, how 9-11 and the Taliban, they bring it back to Taliban and all, come on, man, come on. You gotta see that the rhythm of, of this crap is all crammed into this one event that was supposed to be able to be like, ha I told you we need to take all of the guns, <laughs> which is, you know, which is unfortunate comedy that is not too funny at this point. But um, you get um, the shooter again, it's supposed to be what? Mentally deranged, right? Just let's just just think the shooter again is supposed to be supposed to be mentally deranged yet all of the uh, ATF and all the police and everybody saying like this was a well thought out plan by a mentally deranged man. <laughs> wait, wait, I heard an evil genius, but let's just let's just let's be realistic. There's a bunch of college students that I'm sure can't live without their phones. And one out of 10 is carrying pistols. Now, this mentally deranged man is just randomly pulling a gun and shooting Christians. What religion is him? Nobody. What religion is he? Nobody knows. Uh, but he's just randomly calling people, are you a Christian? And whatever crap saying that he said, and shoot, which is similar to the saying that they said in Charleston. Again, come on. Come on, you know this is, this is, you know better, you know better, you know it's fake, you know it's bullshit, like you know they're just using the emotions of uh, religion, the emotions of race and ethnicity and, and all of these events. And again with the crisis actors, uh, Oregon had another shooting in the rental school, proved to be a hoax. So. Again, Oregon, tie, keep tying back to rentals. So a lot of people, you know, how is Oregon, Oregon tied to any, because rentals, rentals keep coming up. When you, when you type in Oregon rentals, you see what comes up yourself. $23.6 billion. It's a vic a win is a win is a win. You can't take back the fact that this black lawyer won. That wreck triggered a civil war. These are no accidents. They're links in a chain. The work of a single organization. organization. The games begin.